Supporters of a yes vote in Scotland's independence referendum spread the word on the streets of Glasgow, delivering campaign newspapers and always ready to debate. I want to look to the future. I don't want to look to the past. I want to see our country on Tuesday. With the Commonwealth Games underway in Glasgow, Scotland is enjoying its time in the limelight this summer, although those arguing for independence are wary of counting on the feel-good factor for a bounce in public opinion, which until now has consistently given the no campaign a lead. Yeah, I think it does have a you know a knock-on effect in that respect, but people will still have to be convinced that yes, Scotland can do it, whether it's coming you know from the economy or not. But I think there is a buzz. That's what I would use. There's definitely a buzz about it, and I think it will have a knock-on effect. For Scotland, these games are the only multi-sport event in which they can compete under their own flag. And a haul of gold medals for the home nation could play into the hands of those in favour of breaking from the United Kingdom. But even Scotland's pro-independence leader, Alex Salmond, is striking a note of caution, willing to hold a truce in campaigning while the 71 Commonwealth countries compete across 18 sports. We've got 10 days here where we're going to concentrate on presenting Scotland uh, to the world. Uh, you know, we can do that uh, and we'll have plenty of time uh, when the games are over and, uh, and uh, we've all had a fantastic time and celebration to, to get back into the, the thick of the, the, the referendum debate. Uh, I look forward to that return to the debate, but I look forward enormously to the next 10 days. But debate continues to rumble on. And as the games begin, the Better Together campaign, arguing the case for a no to independence, are continuing their fight for hearts and minds. We're all very promoting our, our country because we're proud to be Scottish as well. Um, but I don't think it is going to rub off in any way to do with the effects of politics. I think that people are using their heads when it comes to this independence referendum. and um, They're looking at the facts and they're trying to work it out that way. I don't see emotion really playing a part in it, personally. Scotland goes to the polls on September the 18th to decide its future path. And for many, the Commonwealth Games will provide a welcome break from politics before the battle lines are drawn once again.